full efficiency test. What do you think? Did we make it past 300 miles in under 60 kilowatt hours? Bum, 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 bum. Okay, fall has officially arrived. It's cold. We're into the bleak, bleak, cold months that are gonna kill our EV range. So let's do the grim analysis of how bad winter is gonna be. <sighs> All right, so that's a bit of uh, hyperbole. It's not that cold. It's only in the 50s and fall is really probably my favorite time of year, but it is time fall. for fall kind of gear. So, now that we're into this period of the year, it's uh, time for the kind of corollary video of the spring rising range video I did back in March, April. Uh, that was when we're, you know, coming out of winter, looking forward to the warmer months and the range of the Bolt TV, getting up to your 300 miles around town and, you know, much, uh, much better miles per kilowatt hour. Um, I'm going to reset here, look at the conditions we've got now and what we can expect to see going into fall and then, yep, winter. Sorry guys, it's coming and you have to prepare. Here we go. Here we go then, the first few miles of fall. That was downhill, hence the very good efficiency. It'll give us the stats on the climate settings and any battery conditioning which comes in over the fall. Well, that's pretty good temperatures. They, uh, they reckon high 60s, low 70s. Fahrenheit is about the best uh, for the Bolt's battery at least and probably a bunch of other electric vehicles. So this is very temperate no need for air conditioning at the moment. It's gonna probably plummet pretty quickly in terms of temperature, but uh, there you go. This is early October, and then see how that adapts as we go into the colder end of fall towards winter. But we're not far off 300 predicted, all local driving, but uh, there you go. Local as in pickups at the train station and all that kind of business. settings mostly used for defogging that's at one percent right now of that 10 kilowatt hours used coming up here on 20 kilowatt hours then um, it's that's the third a third of the battery not quite at 100 miles here slightly different on the trip counter but showing you the average there 4.8 miles per kilowatt hour it's not going to be quite enough to reach 300 miles on a single charge at this point, but you know, it's only a third of the way in, so we'll see. Temperatures are holding in the daytime in the 60s, which is helpful. Uh, 70, 75 is typically considered a pretty good place to be for the battery, so if you're in the 60s, you're pretty close to optimum. Not too hot, not too cold. It is getting colder overnight, so in the mornings, there's the occasional need to precondition, give a little bit of warmth in the car. Not too often, but it's uh, enough that we've used 1% on climate controls and also that's to defog on the uh, rainier days, get rid of the moisture on the the windscreen here. Not so much today, beautiful temperatures, beautiful sunshine. So it's going okay at the moment. We're uh, pushing up to, you'd rather have that 100 miles in the bag already as you come up to the third point obviously because if you're on 100 miles at you know, or more at the one third point. That's gonna mean you're getting close to that 300 miles on a single charge. No big deal. Uh, the biggest point here is that it still shows we're in good shape for, you know, very good range in fall, way above the uh, EPA estimated 238 miles, um, at least.
attempt at a nature documentary. But more importantly, midway through, 30 kilowatt hours used of a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack, 150 miles traveled, just a little over. So what does that mean? Um, it means we are essentially halfway to still having 300 miles on a single charge in full. This has been pretty steadily 4.9 to 5, just ticked over to 5 in the last week or so because it's been um, a bit warmer. See the temperature at the moment. In the daytime it's getting into the 60s most, most usually. Uh, it's been pretty dry which has helped and the leaves are starting to turn here. Kind of good stuff. Um, terrain, similar. We rarely get too much uh, of a drag on that. It's always a little below the neutral point, but uh, you know that's not really affecting us too much. Climate settings, more and more. We did have a little bit of a cold snap um, earlier in October, but that's really not a big drag. It's only taken 1% of the, uh, the energy used out of that 30 kilowatt hours so far. Um, and then outside temperature, doesn't seem to be hindering us too much. There's certainly been no battery conditioning. A um, little drag, whereas in the summer you'll obviously see that plus two, plus three. But um, yeah, it's been relatively mild and that's probably characteristic of fall in Massachusetts, I think. So, two thirds of the way now, 40 kilowatt hours out of a 60 kilowatt hour battery, still just peaking under that um, 200, well, you know, the five miles per kilowatt hour, we're just beneath the 200 miles that we would need to be on track for 300 miles on a single charge here. Some uh, different readings, they've got 4.9 miles per kilowatt hour here, that's uh, due to the rain. Rain really doesn't help at all, so we're starting to see some of that after a dry couple of weeks here in Greater Boston. Um, the 111 miles left is optimistic, I would guess. It's uh, probably saying that, yes, it's going to be roughly around that so 300 mile mark, but again, that's going to drop significantly once we get into that lower, uh, probably 10-15% it's going to start to plummet so it's going to be closer to probably 95 miles, 90-95 miles remaining. Okay, so I scuppered our full efficiency test, at least on a single charge, uh, because we got the call to come to this Electrify America site in Northborough, Massachusetts, just at a Walmart here, to uh, test the machines, get things up and running, and uh, one of the engineers was out here, so had to charge, which is fine. No big deal. Very full charge here. Still on just past 54 kilowatt hours. We had another 45 on the GOM, something like that, which was about to go down pretty quickly, um, possibly 40. So if we'd continued going, maybe we would have squeezed in around 300, probably a bit less, just like the spring efficiency testing. We'll keep going and see what it, um, what it ends up as at 60 kilowatt hours as before. Bum, 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 bum. Well, we actually made it pretty spot on. This is, we've gone over, but as we ticked over 60 kilowatt hours, we were just beneath 300 miles, so about 298, 299. So that's pretty much spot on with the, um, the average here. Five miles per kilowatt hour, that has fluctuated between a low of 4.8, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 
when we were using the uh, climate controls on a couple of cold days um, and then up to 5.1 very briefly um, with more around town warm driving and uh, it's pretty much spot on it really does give you that um, that five miles per kilowatt hour approaching the end of October here start of November so one final metric just in case the 2020 Bolt EV manages to do exactly the same kind of efficiency and performance as the previous model years it's uh, estimated to have a 66 kilowatt hour battery pack now on the 2020 model so this is what the efficiency would look like if it has the same kind of energy usage as the 2017 we have here so if you hit 66 kilowatt hours on a average of about five miles per kilowatt hour that's going to give you quite comfortably ahead of 300 miles on a single charge so 2020 bolt ev owners prospective bolt ev owners you are going to have no trouble at all getting into the 300 mile club especially if you're driving on local roads of course unseasonably warm temperatures help as well